Hey, what's up, Reefer? This is going to be a quick one. So this is probably not something you want to see when you look at your reef tank. And my friends on Instagram already got a taste of it, and already a lot of suggestion came flooding in. And these are all great suggestions. So what happened is that the return pump on the 17-gallon drop-off tank failed. So I pulled the uh, refugium pump from here and hooked it up to the 17-gallon drop-off tank. Everything seems fine. I rewired the media reactor's uh, power heads output to the refugium. But somewhere along the line, I pissed off the smart ATO, and it decided to dump everything in the uh, auto top of reservoir into the sump. Now, that's 7.5 gallon of calc laced fresh water, fresh RODIA water. Uh, so everything is kind of milky white right now. And I did a water change already, so it's already slightly better. I'm making more RDI water, so I got a little time to kind of share this with you really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna go into more details down the road, but I don't know, man. This may be the end of the 45 gallon display tank. And to be honest, I am surprisingly not freaking out, <clears throat> not super sad, because I think I've just had it. Uh, with the, well, number one, the the salt bath I gave the 17 gallon drop off tank and number two today um, I have a minor power outage and the return, return pump refused to come back online and this return pump had been having issue like with restarting for a long time but today it just quit so I had to rig something up and it was a pain to ass and I was just upstairs ordering a new pump and as soon as I come downstairs I see this I'm like alright well I mean <laughs> God is trying to tell me something so from Instagram, a lot of people are saying that, okay, do 100% water change, which I'm trying to do right now. Um, I just need water. And in the meantime, other people are saying that pull all the corals out and put it into your drop-off tank, which I, I thought is a fantastic idea. So I did just that. So I sat here thinking, okay, what are some corals that I absolutely cannot live without and I can fit in a 17 gallon drop-off tank? Um, at first I was like, okay, uh, no, I can. I don't really need anything from there. Um, I can live without any of them. It's fine, you know. But the more I think about it, it's like, wait a minute. Now, you know, let's let's save whatever I can and whatever makes sense. So I started pulling things out. <laughs> Obviously, the things that uh, cost a lot of money first. <laughs> I know, so bad, right? So the fed had dendro, obviously, and it's, thankfully I, I remember exactly where it was, so I just kind of reach in, grab it, pull it out. Uh, the Space Invader, it looks, actually it doesn't look that bad, I think it'll survive. The tip got a little bit burnt, but for the most part it stopped and it seems okay. The Sunny D Zoas I really like, so I pulled the colony out, it's on a little rock, and I remember exactly where it was. And uh, let's see what else I got. Uh, the Frag Rack. It was pretty easy to pull out, so I went ahead and just pulled it out. Frog spawn, I have two colonies in there, but I think this drop-off tank probably just need one, so I just pull one of the larger one out. And down the road, I'm gonna try to escape it better uh, to fit the 17-gallon drop-off. And I pull out the gold torch because, I mean, I really like this piece too, and actually fluorescent really well under the uh, ONF flat one. And in terms of anatomies, I pulled out the um, one of the smaller orange tip anatomy. The anemones actually seems to do okay in a 45 gallon drop off, uh, no, the 45 gallon tank right now. Uh, but I just pulled one out as insurance. Um, and there's no guarantee that this one would do well here because the water parameter is probably pretty different between the two tanks. And I just kind of dropped everything in because I was in such a rush. So those are the things I kind of pulled out right now. Um, oh, okay. The, uh, actually, I also pulled out the Tubbs Blue because I really like those those. And I think that rock actually could work well in the drop off tank. So, I don't know what's been going on. Since the beginning of 2017, pump has been failing on me left and right. And this pump, I mean, I'm not using even using calc water with the, with the pump here, so I don't know. But I guess shit just happens in this hobby and just in life. And you just gotta roll with it, it's all good. And in this case, and I guess in Chinese it's a saying that, um, it means like, if the old does not leave you, the new will not come. So this may be the beginning of a new venture, I guess. But of course, if I can save this, I will absolutely still save it. I still love this tank. Uh, and by the way, I'm not too freaked out by the fish because they all seem to be perfectly normal. Look at a clown, it's still kind of playing in a sea anemone. Oblivious to what's going on. They're just kind of hanging out.
Yeah, so I think the fish is still okay, and the sea anemone is not really closed up. And they doesn't seem to be too affected. Um, yeah, yeah, I forgot to pull out the elegant. Mm, I guess I'll, I'll do that after the video. There are some larger pieces of rock that's not as easy to pull out, and I really don't see a place for it in the in the drop-off tank. So I'm just gonna try to save the whole tank. And I'm not counting on the SPS to survive this elk spike. That's these guys right here. So this is a... Uh, yeah. I'm kind of surprised I have the energy to all, do all these things right now because I'm down with the flu. I was ready to go back in bed. But when I come downstairs, see everything milky white, I just kind of just got like a adrenaline rush. And I was like, shit, let's, let's, let's see if we can salvage anything. So, cross your fingers for me, but if it does not work out, don't be too sad, because no big deal. I mean, it sucks, I feel terrible for the animals, but in the grand scheme of things, not a big deal. All good. And I remember one of you guys asked me before, like, before, between the 45 and 17, oh no, he, how do you phrase it, I forgot. Something like, would you be sad if you have to downgrade to the 17? I was like, no, it's fine, I mean... Perfectly happy with just a 17 gallon drop off tank while I shop for a larger tank. <laughs> but yeah, things, things uh, seem to be doing well. I had to frag off a couple heads of this frog spawn because uh, spitting out some white stuff, kind of like a lot worse than those. And those were obviously goner, so I just cut those heads off to preserve the rest of the colony. And the torch actually seems to be bouncing back now, so it looks like it's gonna survive. Same thing with everything I moved here. So, yeah, it looks good. So yeah, just want to do a really quick video to update you guys. Uh, sorry this is not produced and stuff like that. I figure it's uh, more important things to do right now. Uh, like saving the tank. So... Yeah. Alright, well, um, I guess you will know the outcome in the next video. Hope you guys are having a better day than me, as this past few days has just been ridiculous. Uh, Alright, talk to you guys later.